Unlearning is more difficult if you really love and appreciate and admire those who taught you it. If what you need to unlearn you have a special attachment to because of your appreciation of the person that taught that to you, it's difficult to separate out sometimes the thing they taught you, which now is not working anymore, and it was maybe good for them, or maybe it was good for them, and it was never right for you. But because of your love and affection for the people, um, you kind of feel that you have to keep that stuff on board and give some kind of attention to it, and you don't. So the first thing I committed to do, again for me, by the way, a couple of years ago, this has been a keeper for me for a long time, is that I need to commit to be constantly saying, I, I'm saying no to that now. I'm going to change that in my life. I'm going to do less of that. I'm going to do no more of that. I'm not going to keep company with those people anymore. I'm not going to be involved in that kind of conversation anymore. All of those decisions are part of your commitment to grow and flourish, but it's unlearning. Unlearning feels like it's not adding anything because it's learning by subtraction. Not all learning is by addition. A lot of learning has to start with subtraction. I am unlearning it. I am, I am unsubscribing from that channel. I'm unsubscribing from that voice in my head. I'm unsubscribing from those ideas and those ways of thinking that were good 10 years ago or maybe were good six months ago. But I know now because things are changing, as I said, so fast and so are you and we should be, you're not the same person through your life, and you shouldn't be, is that six months ago even, there are some things that are outdated because of how much you're growing and flourishing. So commit to unlearning. Sometimes the things you need to know are buried under things that you don't need. Sometimes the people you need are hidden behind people you don't need. And so this skill that you develop of being able to sift and prune and pare back and cut away in yourself and in your organizations to get to the people that you do need, the ideas you do need, sometimes is very difficult to do and we don't do it enough.